Hey guys, I'm back with the series where we are going to discuss data warehouse practicals. In last lecture, we have already done with uh, uh, first practical of data warehouse for TYBACID SEM6 that is configuring a listener. So now in this particular practical, we'll continue with the second part of this particular practical. My name is Professor Tirup Parmar. So we are done with listener. And now this particular practical we are going to start with creating a database here I will explain you how to create a new database in Oracle 11G so let's start with creating a database now before starting with practical let me make one thing clear that uh, in my computer as you can see I have installed Oracle 11G and I have installed data warehouse for three times so how to uh, start with configuring the database you go like 11 G then go to database configuration assistant as soon as we click on database configuration assistant you will face this kind of a screen so here configuration assistant started which helps us to configure a database now before creating a database I'll just delete the existing database remember first I'm going to delete, delete existing database because I've already created database three times and uh, now if I create it for fourth time it is going to uh, slow down my system so before creating a new database first I'm going to delete the uh, existing database you don't need to uh, follow this step as uh, you are configuring it if you are configuring it for the first time you just need to continue once I start creating a new database so here I'm going to delete one database you just need to select click on next it will retrieve all the information and very soon it will delete all the files which is available uh, support files which is available for this particular database so if your system is slowing down then you can just delete the existing database it will help you to um, actually um, make your computer a bit faster because most of time as you can see I'm done with deleting a database so now once I click on finish it will ask you whether uh, ask me whether you want to actually delete it or not yes so I have clicked on yes and as soon as I clicked on yes it started deleting the existing database that is TYIT DW now once you are deleting with this it will again ask me what whether you want to continue with the operation yes and as soon as I'm done with this particular operation my database existing one database is deleted now we'll continue with our practical where we are going to create a new database so to create a new database as you can see go to database configuration assistant in that click on create database then click on next it will ask you some operations for example in this particular window we need to click on data warehouse remember we are working with data warehouse practical so you need to click on data warehouse so click on it and then click on next in next screen it asks you to enter your global database name now remember this particular name will help us in rest other practicals as well so make sure enter some name which you can easily remember so here I am performing practical for TYBACIT so I am going to enter the same type of a name so let's start with the same so here I am going to enter global database name remember SID is going to same as you can see Oracle system identifier so my global database name is TYBACIT DW that is data warehouse and SID is also same so global database name and SID both are same once we are done with entering this information then click on next as soon as we click on next it will uh, uh, it will display this particular screen where it uh, provides some configuration and management options where you we can uh, enable alert notification and uh, uh, we can also enable some uh, daily disk backups uh, on, on our data warehouse so uh, it might possible that if we are handling with or dealing with a large amount of database then on daily basis we need to take a backup or we need to recover the existing database if it might possible that uh, our database might facing some error so in that point of time we need to recover the existing database so that time we work with this but in our basic ty level practical right now we are not going to deal with this so we just need to click on next so as soon as 
we just need to click on next and it will display a next screen here as you can see it will show you different accounts as you can see use different administrative passwords now remember if we are professionally working on data warehouse then we need to configure all different password because to maintain the highest security level possible but in our case we are only dealing with practical aspects so if we create multiple passwords for this multiple administrative level accounts then it might confuse you a bit in future practical so instead of going for four different passwords we'll just click on one single password for all the administrative level accounts and here I'm going to enter a very simple password which I can remember very easily my password is Oracle we are working on Oracle so I'll, I'm keeping my password as Oracle only then click on next here as you can see uh, it is asking register this database with all the listener basically in last practical I told you that I have uh, performed that listener practical three uh, two times and last time I have performed it for three times so as you can see here in my computer I have three listeners listener listener one and listener two so if you don't want to make any confusions just register this particular database with all this listener so whenever you uh, ask or fire some query anyone any one of listener who is available will help you out so it won't create any confusion in future so I'm keeping first option as it is so just keep it as it is and click on next as soon as we click on next it displays here that we are going to create a file system remember we are going to create a file system for our databases so here uh, now what do you mean by file system for example in uh, windows we have file system like ntfs that is new technology file system then uh, we have uh, um, many other different types of file system in linux as well so in the same way here oracle is also going to create one type of a file system where it is going to store our database now once we are done with that then we do have ready-made templates available for creating our database as you can see use data waste file location from templates so templates means some ready-made uh, set of files without without much efforts oracle provides us or automatically creates all the necessary file which are required to create a proper and secure database which we can also connect it with php which we can also connect it with asp.net and any external platform so those type of templates are available here now click on next here it specifies flash recovery as you can see recovery it is uh, a self-explanatory then in this particular part it displays that whether you want to create sample schema or not so we are going to click on sample schema because it helps us in future practical so click on sample schema then click on next here it gives some memory related information where it is asking for some initialization parameter just go to next then here it asks you to secure the security level settings so whether you want to keep the enhanced 11g settings or revert to 11g default settings so we are not concerned much about our security uh, at uh, this particular point of time so we'll just use basic security level or default security setting provided by oracle so click on this and click on next here it asks you whether you want to automatically maintain 11g data warehouse or not but uh, we are not actually connected with oracle um, uh, on uh, their uh, directly uh, sorry we are not directly connected with oracle on the system so we don't need any automatic maintenance task so just unmark this and click on next as soon as we click on next you will find one option or a detail given here which uh, which specifies database configuration assistant as you can see uh, some uh, information is given here you can just read out this information very self uh, self explanatory uh, so database storage and it gives some information about how they are going to create database what are how they control files tables data files rule back redo and other options some details are given here you can just read it out if you want and you can also uh, 
do some other things with this with the same uh, it uh, basically helps you to understand how in back end it creates database and what type of activity it is going it is going to perform but uh, in the small lecture it is not possible to uh, for us to uh, discuss everything so here as you can see it gives us an option select the database creation option just create a database save a database template or generate a database creation script so create a new database give it an option as it is and now once we click on create then it shows us some this type of a option in this option as you can see you will find one option which is named as oracle warehouse builder and just make sure it's showing true out here oracle warehouse builder true you can also save this file in html format if you want and then just click on ok so as soon as we click on ok it starts creating our database so just make sure oracle database uh, warehouse builder true and click on ok so as soon as we click on ok here our database creation process started now it takes some time approx 30 uh, no, sorry 15 to 20 minutes and if your computer is slow then it might take some more time so as you can see we are almost done with our database creation process and in the last step as you can see it provides us global database name which we have provided tybsit dw sid same as our global database name now before clicking on exit remember before clicking on exit we have to click on password management remember don't forget to click on password management because if if we do not click on password management then our particular database remains as you can see here we have owb system this particular username oracle warehouse builder system this account is locked so by clicking on password management we need to unlock this particular account so how we basically unlock it just click on this arrow so here it is unlocked and now give some password so um, i'm going to keep the password same that is oracle only so i'm keeping my password same for all the rest of practicals that is oracle here i have entered the same password click on ok as soon as we click on ok <clears throat> it takes some time as i said because of oracle practical my laptop is getting slow and slow day by day so it is taking too long just to create simple things okay so here we are done now the final step click on exit so as soon as we click on exit we are done with creating our database as you can see this is the last screen and we are done with this particular process i hope this particular practical is quite easy for you in next particular practical we'll start with creating some uh, repository sorry we'll start with practical number three that is creating repository thank you